And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Okay guys, so no video yesterday, that was just because there wasn't not much substance to really talk about within the Liverpool space, however today there is actually quite a few bits and pieces to discuss, of course Fabrizio Romano, David Ornstein has come and spoke about Liverpool's sort of transfer ambitions ahead of the January transfer window, so we'll discuss that in today's video, we're also going through a few other bits and pieces within the Liverpool space, the Super League debacle that's came up and um, yeah, as I said Liverpool of course into the semi-finals of the League Cup after beating West Ham United 5-1. Look, we wanted a win, we wanted a, um, a performance following the, the disappointing draw to Manchester United at Anfield at the weekend we got that as we scored 5 goals um, and as I state, uh, as, as I said, um, of course booked our place in the League Cup semi-final. Uh, for those of you that don't already know, Liverpool are going to be taking on Fulham in the next round um, and yeah, this is a do one. I really do think this uh, a final could be beckoning for us. A really good opportunity for us to get to the next round of the competition. As I don't really see any of the sides left in the competition um, that are better than Liverpool. I think Liverpool could look at this one in a perfect uh, way and try and um, yeah get that first trophy of the season. Um, as I stated, the home match will be on January 9th, 10th um, at Anfield. And then, of course, the second leg, of course, the semi-final of the League Cup is a two-legged defence. Uh, we'll be at, of course, Craven Cottage on January 23rd, 24th, and then the, fi the 24th, and the final will be a bit later on. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Mo Salah and Endo will both miss uh, will miss both ties uh, due to their involvements in the African Cup of Nations and the Asian Cup, respectively. So, yes, yeah, Salah and Endo won't be available for selection at all. Um, so we'll have to deal with those without those players. But, of course, a really good opportunity to get to the final here. I do think Chelsea will probably be the other side that make it to the final. Middlesbrough, again, I don't think have it in them to get to the final. Here's hoping for a cup upset. However, um, again, either way, I do think it will probably be a Liverpool Chelsea final um, and something that we should be winning most definitely against this Chelsea side um, especially at Wembley it's a place that we've beat a better Chelsea side twice in the final in recent years back in 2022 in this competition in the FA Cup uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves too much a lot of football to be played between now and then um, so something that we need to be making sure that we get uh, get right of course, over the last uh, 24 hours as well, you've probably realised that the Super League are back out. Um, it's back again um, in terms of what they're trying to do. Of course, they've made the competition a bit more open. They've won a court case with basically taking UEFA. Basically, UEFA can't stop them from making the European Super League. And again, they want to try and do it. However, as you've seen in the, um, in the hours following, loads of clubs are released statements. Some clubs that don't belong there. I think Leeds United released a statement that they weren't going to be a part of it, um, as if Leeds were getting get an invite anyway. Um, it's almost like Everton doing the same thing. Um, but of course, most clubs' stance is still the same, that they will not join a European Super League. Of course, uh, Liverpool, you feel, are in that same sort of boat, of course, that they do not want to and want to put the fans first and want to keep uh, protecting the domestic competitions. And to be fair, looking at the new Super League format, it just looks like the new Champions League, Europa League and Europe Conference League format that's already going to be happening as of next season. They got the uh, the star, the blue and the gold or whatever, the different leagues, um, and it's an open to everybody else. Again, that's pretty much like the Champions League, Europa League, Europa Conference League with the league format. So there is no point anyway. I don't understand why uh, they're trying to redo it. Um, but again, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And as I said, the fans have a massive say on what does happen in European football and, and what happens with regards to the European Super League anyway. So um, it is what it is. And um, I, I don't think it's going to be a major problem. Um, however, as I said, they have kind of reared its ugly head once again. And depending on what your thought is on the matter, um, again, um, it could be good news or bad news to you. But at this moment in time, it doesn't look like any clubs are going to be participating apart from Barcelona, Real Madrid and then possibly Juventus. Um, but apart from that, I don't think anything's going to happen um, seriously on that front. Now, in regards to transfer news, guys, as I stated, we are coming to January now, and there is trusted sources within the uh, the Liverpool space. Paul Joyce probably being the main trusted source when it comes to Liverpool transfers. However, following that, David Ornstein, Fabrizio Romano is are as real as you get uh, when it comes to it, and they both spoke with regards to transfer news with Liverpool. And unfortunately, it does seem as though it is more bad news rather than good news. However, as I always stated, Liverpool do play their cards close to the chest and never really announce stuff. 
uh, very soon. And we have used the January transfer market to our advantage in years gone by. Um, however, let's go through what David Ornstein has said first with regards to Liverpool's transfer business, and then we'll go on to Fabrizio Romano and um, basically discuss it. So the first point, uh, Liverpool are contesting to, your tro to win trophies this season, and despite a perception that Jurgen Klopp's men still lack something, there seems to be no sense of internal alarm. That becomes from De De David Ornstein. Again, not so good reading so far. Uh, despite a perception of that Jurgen Klopp's men still lacking something, uh, things can change and Liverpool are always attentive to openings, but the, forth for the forthcoming window is not anticipated to be busy. Again, another worrying alarm. Uh, things can change and Liverpool always are always attentive um, to things that do crop up, but the forthcoming window, it doesn't look like Liverpool will be busy at all. Jao Palina has been linked, but nothing is expected to emerge on this. Liverpool believe their midfield is in good shape and their normal profile would be different to the Portuguese international who is 28 and has a steep anticipated transfer fee. Um, again, um, Liverpool do believe that the midfield is good so Polina is off the cards again for David Ornstein he's saying and then also stated about Andre uh, Liverpool, he stated when Liverpool found themselves trying to strengthen at number 6 and various options were explored a call was made about the availability of talent Andre uh, from Fluminese of course. It did not work for either party then which removes him from the agenda now. Um, so stated we won't be in for Andre but that's no news really to be perfectly honest with you. With regards to Fabrizio Romano he stated with regards to Goncalo and Casio he said Liverpool have been also been uh, one of a number of teams linked to in Casio. There were scouts in attendance uh, to watch his game recently in the Sporting Lisbon's Europa League match on Thursday uh, but the only way to sign him is to pay his 60 million euro release clause which I do think is a decent fee. Um, also Fabrizio Romano went on to say that Liverpool are another club looking at centre-backs but so far no contacts have taken place between uh, Bayer Leverkusen for Pirio Incape again another player that we have been linked to so again Liverpool well from according to Fabrizio Romano we are interested in centre-backs and could make a move for a centre-back according to David Ornstein there is no internal alarm that we are going to be making additions in the January transfer window and it's kind of rubbish any midfield additions which we kind of already knew however if Fabrizio is talking about centre backs again it could be someone uh, players that we could be trying to bring in this winter window again I hope more um, David Ornstein isn't correct obviously he is correct most of the time Fabrizio Romano talking about centre backs but one thing remains to, to certain we do need to be making additions I keep using this analogy stating we shouldn't be falling asleep at the wheel when it comes to January especially in the pursuit of Silverwell which we are currently doing um, and I think it would be suicide from Liverpool's perspective not to try and make some additions in this January transfer window when we're sitting literally one point off the top of the table and possibly going into Christmas we could be top of the table should we beat Arsenal so again I do uh, I don't understand it and I do believe that we should be making some additions this January but again that's from our top sources David Ornstein and Fabrizio Romano with regards to it Fabrizio states that we are looking for um, centre-back options David Ornstein said there is no internal alarm at this moment in time with regards to the January transfer window however things could change so something that we'll have to watch watch and monitor going into the window over the next 10 days. Uh, but Liverpool fans, that's all I've really got for you today. Do let me know your thoughts on the semi-final. Do let me know your thoughts on the Carabao Cup in general. Do you think we'll win the competition? Yes or no? And let me know your thoughts with regards to the transfer window. How many additions do we need to make? And do you think Liverpool will make an addition? Again, let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. And remember, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, Christmas Merchandise as well as normal merchandise uh, for Liverpool. So do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to quadbikeclothing.com. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.